Yo, what is up guys? LMF Ghost here, back with another customization video. This is episode 2. I'm going to be showing you the top 4 most expensive cars on the Legendary Motorsport website. Now, don't ask me why the T20 hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't really know why the T20 hasn't showed up yet. So, let's go ahead and just uh, leave and come back. Okay, so now the T20 is here. So let's go ahead and customize it first because it is the most expensive car in the garage. So I'm just going to sit here for a while and scroll through, look at different colors, and I will time lapse whenever it happens to be that time. But what I want to help you guys with real quick is whenever you're doing this kind of thing and you want to do it yourself, go ahead and customize your car to the max before you put color on it. That way you can put whatever you want on it and then make the color scheme match what you have on the car. So go ahead and just add neons if you want neons and just leave them white. Your plate, I automatically put just black just because that's kind of default. If there, yours has a secondary uh, bumper or side skirt option, I suggest you do that too because then that kind of it kind of just looks better and I've been putting the same wheels on each car I don't put any tire color on yet and then go ahead and put on uh, the maximum tent and so far it's looking pretty decent and it's completely uh, stock colors so let's go ahead and hit the time lapse and I'll see you guys whenever I get a good color That's everything on the T20 that I could get. And since it's nighttime, it's really difficult to see. Well, you guys can see the color here. It looks really nice. It's similar to the Osiris, but not identical. I can, I can assure you that these are not the same. The primary color is different. And for the Osiris, I used dark red for my matte color, not light red. So there's a, a difference there. So let's go ahead and drive back to the garage and get another car. We're going to be doing the Osiris next because it is the next expensive car. And then I can show you guys the difference between the Osiris and the T20. You guys want me to. Oh, you, you guys will see it anyways. Uh, also, comment down below if you agree with these color schemes, if they really fit the cars. I want to see. I want to hear what you guys have to say about them. I don't want to just be talking to myself and not have any opinions coming at me you know like I'd like to hear what you guys think about these another reason I'm doing this is because uh, in online mode I realized that most of these pearlescent paints and uh, metallics and gold stuff like that they're really expensive in online and I don't think you guys want to take the time out of your day to go ahead and just come through the GTA colors and pick one out and just you know sit here all day looking for one but that's what I'm trying to help you guys out with okay so that is the T20 look at that thing dude so nice I like it now let's go ahead and hop out of the garage with the Osiris and I will see you guys at the mod shop okay so we're at the mod shop I may have crashed once or twice not a big deal I only broke the headlight and the windshield not a big deal it's like a hundred bucks or two hundred it's whatever so go ahead and just customize the car to the max. And all of these customizations are completely optional. So you guys can just choose whatever ones you want. Yeah, but if you guys want to copy me, you go go ahead and do that. I'll try to slow down a little bit so you guys can do that. I think it does make a difference in the way it sounds, but I, that's just me.
But you're going to want a blue plate for this car because I already know what color is coming up. So, you get this purple color, right? And then you take your pearlescent and you change it to a, a Torino red. Now, last time I used a dark blue, it was like gray blue or something. I don't remember what it was called. But yeah, that's what I used. And then dark red. You want to put your primary. Uh, wing spoilers are completely optional. Sport tires. It's usually what I use for sport cars. You're going to want to put some red tires on it. Then red tire smoke and black windows. There you go, it's daytime outside so you guys can clearly see the car. This thing, it's looking nice. I, and I, like I said before, I can assure you that the Osiris and the T20 look very different. Now, I probably have some of you guys wondering why I didn't do the Z-Type because, let's be honest, two owns the Z-Type in GTA. I mean, plus it's actually cheaper in the online version than it is in the campaign cost 10 mil in the campaign so it's pretty expensive and the t20 and the osiris have some good color schemes but the z-type uh that's really hard to work with honestly i think that is one of the hardest cars to work with i know i've been saying that a lot but so there's a lot of cars in this game that are very hard to work with uh, there's some details about the car that make it very difficult I think muscle cars are my most favorite cars to work with during like just trying to find color schemes for it because they're medium difficulty not very hard but they look really nice once you get them done now the adder is a solid one million dollars so this is next on the list cool we're at the mod shop no crashes this time all right fully customized so what we need to do is fully customize it for lights, neons, leave it stock white. Yeah, the adder I've never worked with for this, so. All right, let's go ahead and do the respray. Now for your lights, neon color, blue kind of matches the secondary your wheels tires tire smoke go ahead and put blue wheel color bright blue will work there we go that's the adder the next car we're going to be doing is the Entity. Now, this is also a difficult car, but not the most difficult car in the world to do. But it is difficult because it only has one color. And that's some of the cars I don't like to work with is the single colored cars. Because they only have one color. That's why I don't own very many single colored cars, except for the Vaca. I think that's the only car I own that has one color. Now for this car, I try to make it look as close to the Kona's Egg as I can because as as you probably know, this is a Koenigsegg, and Koenigseggs only work with some colors, and they really don't mix with other colors. Like sea green and gasoline green are some of the colors that work with it because that's just Koenigsegg's color. I don't know, it's just the way they work. 
and they only work with some colors. Black obviously works with almost any color, but that is one of their colors too. If you ever looked up the Koenigsegg, uh, that's what this car is based on, but that's, they, they only have like some cars that work. I don't understand why. All right, here we go. Now, I'm not too sure. I have no idea of what colors I want to use. See, this color just looks really nice on it already, but this kind of just makes every car look nice, honestly. Just brushed silver, a bluish silver. I don't know why I said brushed. This is a nice color on it. This might be one that I use. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure yet. The CC green really just suits the car because it's Koenigsegg color, like I said. Um, I see if I can do something with that. I mean, pink, but that's not really that good of a color, honestly, for this car. I mean, neon green works really well with this car, but you can't see any of the pearlescence. I mean, you could make this like a corrosive color. Like Like I said, single colored cars aren't that easy to work with, but this car is really bright. So, I mean, if you want to stand out coming down the road, then I mean, this is your car. I mean, this color to me is honestly kind of basic, but this car is really hard to work with uh, just because of the single color. But it gives it a challenge, I guess. We're going to do one more bonus car for you guys, but we're not going to make it super car. We're going to just make it random off the street, see what I can do. I got raped. Don't mind the body in the middle of the street, but we're going to go ahead and just use the ruiner because I can't seem to find anything else besides the ruiner. Um, his bike's over there. Don't worry about it. He didn't die. He's just uh, sleeping for a long time. But, I mean, like, long time, so don't worry about it. He's just in a coma. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, boom. We're here. See that magic right there, dude? It's crazy.
Alright, so here is the Ruiner, the best colors. I'll probably have screenshots on what colors I chose, or I'll just pause the recording, you know, show you guys what colors I used. This is really basic, but it looks nice. I think it looks nice. Uh, the gray really suits the car. Uh, the pink kind of just goes well with the gray, so then I complemented it with a regular pink on the bottom. Not a bad looking car, honestly. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is episode two of the customization series. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like on the video. Comment down what cars you guys would like to see. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next one.